fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 13th of January 2023. I've just realized it's Friday the 13th. Not that I care at all, but I know someone who <laughs> insists that I have to be careful. It drives me insane, me being of scientific mind, when someone close to me <laughs> always goes, be careful, it's Friday the 13th. It's such nonsense. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's get on with it. Uh, I will get on with the uh, game in a moment. I'll tell you about uh, um, what happened this morning. Um, I woke up as usual about somewhere between 5 and 6 a.m. I usually wake up at around about that time and uh, to he head to the loo and I open the door for my cat to go outside for similar functions. Um, and uh, the door actually is kind of a glass door. It's like a, how to explain, like a glass wall. One of the sections is a door that slides open. So uh, uh, as usual, I kind of went back to bed for a while and uh, about 20 minutes after uh, when the cat had come in I got up to close the door um, and about mm, 15 minutes after that something like that I could hear a bit of a strange sound and the cat was inquisitive and went to look in the living room and was staring at the sofa in a strange position in a kind of uh, monitoring position I'll put it like that you know when they're ready to pounce or but not not necessarily ready to attack, I'm not sure, a kind of monitoring p position, I kind of call it. And uh, I thought, oh, that's strange. So I went to look behind the sofa and a, p a tiny kitten scampered out from behind the sofa. It must have come in uh, through the sliding door when the door was open and the cat was not, my cat was not really paying attention. The poor thing, because now I had already closed the door, so the thing was trying to get out, trying to escape through any bit of glass it could, because of course it's a kitten, it doesn't recognize its glass. And it just kept bashing itself against the glass while I, I tried to uh, open the door to let it out, you know. Um, eventually it, it succeeded in finding, like after I opened the door, there was a, a gap for the poor kitten to escape. But not after it, not until it had bashed its head countless times against the glass. It was in such a terrible panic, you know. The poor thing really felt sorry for it. Um, anyway, it ran away. My cat didn't chase it, though. My cat just kind of looked on in kind of, um, I'm not sure, in amusement or <laughs> in just curiosity. Um, that kind of thing. I notice uh, in The Guardian today we can draw some parallels between big oil and big tobacco. Of course, uh, we know all along, but um, according to The Guardian's uh, reporting, uh, the Exxon uh, company uh, knew all about global warming in the 1970s, had a very accurate uh, predicted model of what was going to happen in the future. Absolutely accurate. And of course, they spent their whole time poo-pooing such speculation and saying, oh, it would never happen when in fact well, their scientists absolutely nailed it. Anyway, very similar to tobacco, of course, who denied uh, cigarettes caused uh, problems to health for many years, even though they knew it. Shall we get on with The Guardian? Uh, it's a hard level. It's Friday. It's not Cracker Jack. Um, I can see the first thing. I can see that we need a three in this column here, and I see threes blocking across these two rows. So I shall stick a three there to begin with. That's the first thing I noticed. I noticed some other things as well, but... Didn't notice how to place a digit just yet. Uh, of course, we have this 4 and 9 blocking across here, so that's going to give us 4 and 9 in those squares. That doesn't help for the moment. So up here, it's got to be 1 and 3. That does help a little bit. So we've got the 3 in one of these two squares blocking across here. We've got three blocking across here and three up there. So let's add a three there. That's also going to put threes down here, right? Uh, uh, actually, I'll say that. Uh, yes, it is threes in those squares and threes up there. So that's not particularly useful just yet. But we will get on to that later. We also have ones over here, if that means anything. Mm, not yet going to say. Uh, but actually we have one here, don't we, because we've got the ones blocking up there. So there 
is in fact our 1. We, let's do the easy numbers, shall we? Nine's got up, nine down before we start looking for anything more complex. Uh, nine blocking across here and nine up here. So nine in one of those two squares blocking up, nine across here. Here's the nine, and as we said, four blocks across here. So here's a four. Seven blocking up here, seven down here, here's a seven. Um, I think I'm just going to go through uh, bit by bit and see what's available and where. We have ones in these squares, ones here, ones here, ones down here, ones over here, and ones there. A very, <laughs> a very um, uh, dislikable pattern. Actually, when I say dislikable, only from terms of solvability. Uh, it's quite looks quite nice, of course. It's quite attractive shape, but it's very. Um, symmetrical and that's no good for us we need something slightly less symmetrical if we're going to find a digit and we have twos like this of course um, not enough on the left hand side there Three's already mentioned, there's not much I can do about that for now. Four. Mm -hmm. That'll do, six is down here and across here. Let's place a six there. Um, another um, symmetrical type pattern we can see with the sixes are like this and that means like this but also like this so another one of those things that don't help us much sevens we have like this and this over here on the other hand let's get a look down here and get the seven down here quickly that might be better across here, eight down here, here's our eight, then eights up here and here and across here gives us an eight there. Uh, I had something else up here, what was it? Sixes, there we go, six and eight. So we have a pair of six and eight up here. Um, so missing from these squares is uh, two, well we can place the two now then, so here's the two and then this will be seven and something. Seven and nine, I guess. Okay. Right, can we get this over here now? We're looking for one and seven. We've got seven blocking there. So there's the seven, there's the one.
two blocks this square here we need a two for this column let's place it there I think it's a five at the bottom here that we need okay five down here five across here here's a five Right, not much more to go, I guess. Um, four, okay, five blocking this square here. So here's our five, four finishes off that block. Three blocks this square, so here's our three, here is our one. Three down here and a three down here and a three across here so here's our three then that way there's the three and then that blocks that square up there so here's the three here's the one this is a one down here then and this has to be four four across these two rows and one blocking down puts a four here uh, there's just one digit to go here that looks to me to be a six and one digit to go here and that looks to me to be uh, an eight I think bits to go what's missing from here um, seven nine is it can't do anything about that missing from here um, six and I've forgotten six and eight uh, and we've got the six blocking up here so here's the six and here's the eight So we have seven blocking this square and seven blocking this square. So here's a seven for that column. And then that has to be our nine. Nine blocking here. But also because the nine blocks across there, we have nine blocking down. So that's our nine. Or you could have just said this nine blocks that square. So we'll place a nine there. Doesn't really matter. It's all fun however you do it. Five across here. Five across these two rows. Five down here. Here's a five. And um, what's next? Five down here, so we can still get a five there, and this will finish with a two. Nine blocks. Oh no, it wasn't nine. Oh, I thought I was missing nine and four here. I misremembered something. It wasn't nine and four. It was one and four. I, my apologies. Luckily, I didn't do anything to it, though. Uh, caught myself in time, which was lucky. What's missing from down here? We don't yet have a four, a seven, or an eight. Seven, eight, like that. That's no good, is it? Let's see what we do have along here. Nines... Uh, no, that's going to put nines in those squares there. What do we have? We have eights. That's no good either. It puts eights like that. We have fives, which are done. Threes are done. Twos. Uh, no, we've got twos like that. So that's no good either, is it? Oh, okay. 
let's uh, do the easy thing and put in a number here because some of you will be screaming by now and I would like you to keep your blood pressure low please uh, getting a message mm. actually I'm gonna need to respond to in a moment um, I want to should be able to finish this off in time shouldn't I um, this is seven. What's missing from here? Um, six, eight, nine, is it? Oh, more messages coming in. Damn. Uh, six, eight, nine, that's no good. What's missing from here? Ah, so I've got to look for, uh, I'm going to have to look for um, something else, right? Um, I thought I was going to just finish off with these horizontal things, finding the easiest thing, but I'm not sure that there's one available without finding a pair there somewhere might be necessary um, now I've lost my concentration too because I got a message uh, seven. Oh, okay so I think we're missing seven four eight from here is that right there's no four there's no seven there's no eight so we got eight and four blocking here so that is a seven that should finish off then sevens across there one across here here's the one and the last number here's a two so two across like this and up here here's our two one across here we need a one there we need a four there four across these two rows or just four down there we'll do it actually four there um, mm -hmm. where are we where are we what's missing one two three four five six six blocks across here and down here so here's our six then six across here and across here is a six the last number to place in this row is an eight the missing number from here is a nine i think nine blocks across here here's the nine and an eight finishes another yet another very easy game from the guardian at placed at hard level see you later bye bye